What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like on this video. And if you can't see the button for like the video, click on the X with up on the right hand side of the phone and then you're going to see the option for like the video. And also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified when there is anything new on the channel. So we're going to kick it off people with this lady with up on the screen right now. So I she had the lady who did a wipe her ASS round a crab circle with them call. You know what I mean? Them call crab circle but a hero circle. See? Or them sell the soup and the crab and the thing. So them a interview her and she has said boy she's not a nasty person and she's a very clean, clean person and this and that. Me always hear from me a look up picnic say, yo, seeing is believing. And from where me see. You can't tell me, say, boy, you're not a nasty person. You see me? I know she I get some backlash right now. And things look down for her. And them say you can't kick a person when them down. But you really have to tell the person the truth. I wish her all the best still, you know, people. Because it's a person where I look them daily bread. And she have about eight youth. You know what I mean? So as a mother... To take care of our youth, them and herself, and that are hustling, and for our livelihood get taken away from her, it's sad. But you have to know when you deal with food, so you have to be very clean. And what you do, I you dig your own grave, miss. You know what I mean? Because right now, me know say people are going skeptic for even buy from the other persons, them. Where did they they are sell? Cause right now we lock down. Them have to go put some measures in place. Then them open up it back, right? Round a crab circle. And she she have to go put somebody else a fear style for go sell. You know what I mean? One hour picnic them have to go take over. Because she said one hour picnic them out school and the yard. So that picnic them, that picnic they have to go take over the crab business from she. And she better not show fear face nowhere around this so and make people know say a fear picnic that a self fear. You understand? So she have to go retire from food business because me know say nobody now go buy from her. Cause that a done right nastiness. And if the other rest of people them where they do it, nobody not to buy from them either. And me know say all when it clean up and nice up and open back. I know that enough people now go back around and go buy nothing. From now, people are going skeptic when they buy food on the road. You understand? So people, just leave your comment. So we are going to move into the whole beachy store and go in case. Right? So I could jump right in it. Witness revealed details of how beachy store reportedly wanted his wife to be K-I-L-L. Convicted contract K-I-L-L-E-R in the M-U-R-D-E-R of Portland businesswoman Tonya McDonald this morning testified that her husband told him he wanted him to M-U-R-D-E-R her in their home. The man, Danvalin Minot, who is currently serving 19 years and 10 months for his role in the M-U-R-D-E-R, also told the Home Circuit Court how oh, 68-year-old businessman Everton Beach Stout McDonald told him he wanted his wife K-I-L-L. -L. Him say him no want she forget no G-U-N-S-H-O-T. Him want me for S-T-A-B her up, C-U-T off her neck. He said, all me have to do I just go up at the house with her and wait till she come out of the car and me K-I-L-L-R in the yard. He recall being told by McDonald during a meeting with him at his supermarket. The witness earlier testified that he reluctantly agreed to KILL Tonya after McDonald told him he would be paid $3 million. But he said he again tried to back out of the deadly plot. I continue telling him me never do it before and me no know how. But he said B to remain undaunted and express faith in him. Him said, come on man, me know you can do it. You are a professional, the witness recalled. During that same meeting, the witness said Beachy, who was seen snorting the white lady, accused his wife of stealing millions from his account. Him said, 
the girl for DEAD and him turned to me and said, the girl act 31 million dollar out of my account, he recounted. At the same time, he said the businessman again showed him a picture of his wife and instructed him to K-I-L-L her. The court further heard from the witness that prior to that encounter, Beachy drove him to his house and showed him around the house and yard. The businessman also reportedly showed the witness an empty lot behind his house and told him at the same for work when he had come out back. During that incident, the witness said he saw some dogs in the yard and attempted to run, but Beachy told him not to run. A short while after, the witness said one of the dogs licked at his feet and Beachy told him that from him smell him, he can enter the yard alone anytime. The witness told the court that he met with Beachy Stout several times in June 2020 and that he gave him about three different phones that he would allow him to use for a short time. This he said happened after Beachy took away his personal phone and told him that he would not be needing that anymore. McDonald and his co-accused Oscar Barnes are currently on trial for the MURDER of the 32-year-old businesswoman. The partially burned body of McDonald's wife, Tonya, was found with her throat, C-U-T, in her car, which had been set ablaze along a deserted road in Sherwood Forest in Portland on July 20, 2020. Minot, however, told the court that he had asked Barnes to do the K-I-L-L-I-N-G and he agreed. So, I know Oscar Barnes' name I mentioned. So, it look like same now I'm going to get to a scotch free again because the man who do the damage say him tell him to do it and him agree to do it. You see it? So, they might go catch him on accomplice charge. Charger. Yes, people. So we are going to move on. Right? And them say the wife, Beachy Store wife, right? End up care money. Go get the man we are going to do the damage. And they even know say, she are give the man money for that way. She. Chaja, boy, may I tell you? I know for them time when you see them thing happen when a man use a youth to go do a damage, you know. Some of the time, them end up go get rid of the youth, you know. Them bribe you with the money, and when you go do the dirt, them just go dash you away and not pay you no money. You see, so there's more me people, and me, me share it with you. Wife unknowingly delivered cash to it man for her M U R D E R. Jaja. The convicted man contracted by Everton Beachy Stout McDonald to M U R D E R his wife disclosed that he and another man he had hired to carry out the it made two unsuccessful attempts to K I L L the woman. McDonald 68 and his co accused Oscar Barnes are on trial in the home circuit court for the 32 year old businesswoman July 2020. M U R D E R. The partially burned body of Tonya McDonald was found with her throat C U T in her car, which had been set ablaze along a deserted road in Sherwood Forest in Portland on July 20, 2020. So, people, here you are. You're going to hear some of the other article. In other article, yeah, you see me, but you're going to hear some more detail as to what happened. Because they said them attempt at her. Three points, I think, two or so time before them, you know what I mean, successfully do the damage, right? The 58 year old prisoner, Denvalin Bobla Minot, who is currently serving 19 years and 10 months for his role in the MURDER plot, testified on Thursday that he reluctantly agreed to K I L L Tonya after McDonald offered him $3 million. But he told the court that he later made arrangement with Barnes, who he had met on a trip in 2020 to carry out the K-I-L-L-I-N-G. Minot further testified that a month before the M-U-R-D-E-R, 
McDonald outlined exactly how he wanted his wife to be K I L L. Remember, me share in our next article. Same, same, want her juke up on her neck. C U T off. He want her crown lift off completely. Right? And he want if it up me in the yard. See? <coughs> the witness said McDonald also requested not to be informed of the date when the M U R D E R would happen. He said that the first attempt on Tonya's LIFE at her home one night was aborted due to her helper's presence. The witness said that he and Barnes had been waiting outside for two hours, but when Tonya arrived home, she ran to the grill and knocked, and the helper came out to let her inside, so they left. Minot earlier testified that McDonald had shown him around the yard and an exit to an open field to take after committing the M-U-R-D-E-R. In the second attempt, the witness said he lured Tonya to Portland under the guise that she was going to buy a G-U-N which she had asked him to source for her. According to the witness, McDonald told him after introducing Tonya to him that she wanted a G-U-N to K-I-L-L, the man who was responsible for her father's D-E-A-T-H. But Minot claimed that McDonald told him that he was the one who had M-U-R-D-E-R, her father. Judge, you hear that, people? And the woman want a machine, you know, you know. Figure dash with the man where she believe dash with her father, you know. And I can bet you say, a him a put in her head, say, a that the man that dash with her father. People, remember me tell you, enough people get dash with innocently, you know. You see me? For things where them not do, you know. You have some people we are puppet master in at the street now for the time, you know. We set up youths and youths for dash with each other, you know. And youths wanna be smart in at the street. Don't take no whole heap of eerie set from people, may I tell you no. Big woman thing. Wanna listen to my foolish advice. You know what I mean? Turning back to the trip, he said that before going to Portland, he went to St. Mary with Barnes, who he had asked to procure the G-U-N, and while there, he called Tonya and told her that he had got the G-U-N and she was to pick it up. The plan was for them to travel to Marshall, but Barnes later told them to go to Boston instead. When they arrived, he said that Barnes left his car and when he went in search of him, Barnes told him that the G-U-N was in a boat but that he could not retrieve it as he was being watched by a woman nearby. The witness said that during that trip, Tonya had given him $500,000 for the G-U-N and said that the money was from both of both her and her husband. However, he said the money was really to K-I-L-L her and that he had already told Barnes. I told him the money to buy the G-U-N is not to buy any G-U-N. It is to K-I-L-L Miss Mack and take it. He told the court. I told him that Miss Mack forget S-T-A-B and her N-E-C-K forget C-U-T half and no G-U-N not supposed to use. According to Minot, McDonald later called to inquire what he was doing and was told that he was carrying out a little matter, but McDonald told him that he had just talked to Tonya and that he was lying. The witness said that McDonald later told him that he had instructed his wife to leave and she was on her way home, so they left. Minot will continue his testimony on Monday. So people... Leave your comment and let me know what you think. A story, yeah. Me not like people captivating, but so we are gonna move on over to Saint Richard's, where the principal almost lose our three points for our update. Attack on principal leaves Saint Richard's parents weary. A GUN attack on the headmistress of the Saint Richard's Infant School on Thursday has left colleagues, students and parents feeling uneasy and a cloud of uncertainty hanging over today's operations. The SHOOTING 
reportedly took place about 6.30 a.m. at the educator's home on Sunrise Crescent, not far from the Roman Catholic Church-operated school, which share the compound with a primary department. Following the SHO OTING, several parents expressed concerns for the safety of their children for whom classes were suspended on Thursday as a result of the attack. Our news team understand that the principal was about to leave out for school when Armen opened FIRE at her. While the principal and, other, and another woman in her company managed to escape without injury, concerned parents lamented the savagery of criminals. It seems like a hit and gladly she was not hurt, but who can assure us that they won't try again even if it means at the school, one parent said. Another parent shared similar concern with our news team. The incident did not happen at the school, thankfully, but what says it cannot? We appreciate how the school took actions today to close school and inform parents of what transpired. I won't be sending my child on Friday and I'm certain other parents would wait and see as well, the parents said. The parents who preferred not to be identified are calling for the police to provide the school with meaningful, reassuring operations. Efforts to speak to Margaret Campbell, chairman of the school board, were unsuccessful. Investigators, however, are probing the circumstances behind the attack. Our source revealed that about eight pen casing and one live round were recovered from the scene. Superintendent Sharika Service, who is in charge of the St. Anjanard Police Division, told our news team that from preliminary accounts, the principal was the target. There was a conning incident and we believe that she was the target, but she was not SHOT and injured, service said. So people, when the article first burst or when news about the conning first come out, them did say the principal injured and people did say she get kind of injured but them did release a statement i guess the police them did release a statement where them say she's injured but she was not shot right an investigator also said that the attack was carried out by men traveling on a motorcycle or on motorcycles the pillion got off the bike and opened fire inside the yard the principal and another woman ran to the back of the premises the pillion got back on the bike and they made their escape an investigator told our news team we are aware of the public discourse and social media theories but we'll leave out the speculations and let the investigation take its course the senior officer said the saint angina division up to september 30 had recorded a year-on-year decline in m-u-r-d-e-r-s and s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g-s according to the latest statistics published by the jamaica constabulary force three fewer persons were k-i-l-l and a similar fall seen in the number of s-h-o-t this year when compared to 2022 the division had record 42 MURDERS and 46 canning incident at the end of last month. 42 too much, 46 too much. That may have to say. You know what I mean? So people leave your comments in the comment section, right? And we are gonna move towards the um, Philip Palwell situation, right? Because them all up on three person. And them say, one of the person with them whole lamp on is a friend of, I think, Mr. Palwell. You understand? So people, you know, look good for the MP, but it look good for the mother and the daughter, at least them are going to be able to hold somebody accountable for what happened. You understand? So, bombshell, that are the headline. 
police investigating the disappearance of Philip Paulwell's daughter and her mother have taken one of his close female associates and two men into custody. Our news team learned Thursday night the suspects were arrested at separate premises in St. Andrew Thursday and according to the police source will be charged with MURDER and kidnapping. Our news team is withholding the name of the main suspect until she is charged. Police sources have said that Paul Well, the member of parliament for Kingston Eastern and Port Royal, is not a suspect in the matter. On September 9, Paul Well had confirmed reports reaching our news team that his 10 month old daughter, Saraya Paul Well, and her mother, 27 year old Tashna Pattison, are missing since September 8. Paul Well said the two were seemingly abducted. Ted from their home at Gilmore Drive, Kingston 20 on the morning of September 9 and have not been seen or heard from since. This is scary and comes at a time when I have been threatened by scammers who have hacked my phone and banking data and are demanding money to release them, Paul Wells said at the time. I have made it clear that I will not give in to extortionists but this is a serious and dangerous development the matter has been reported to the police and i have given a full statement i have also increased my security measures he said i am worried sick over the, their safety and hope the police who have launched a high level investigation will find the abductors and get them both home safe and sound added Paulwell. boy people this sad and as it drawn out you know people reality has sit in you know because the longer them take to find them hope kind of fade away you understand make you have to just accept it say boy right now them must not there with me you see it and boy may i tell you i don't know what transpire or who do this but whoever do it has some wicked set of people them you see it for your little picnic we not even reach one yet. You take them away and do whatever to them. And the mother also. Jano. Boy, may I tell you. So people, yesterday a bus turnover in a St. James. Power Hill, where them call Long Hill. Right? When you go in a Montego Bay. And may I tell you people, me drive on the road there. And you see that road there? Me free of that. I want a road where every minute sitting up on the road. May I tell you no people. Trailer broke down. All different type of thing. Because it's a road where me not think you have no other alternative road where you can take. Some places did it where you can take an alternative road. But when you reach some places on the hill, there's no turning back. I just forward you have to go. And you know, have no if you go right there so and you see which part the bus turn over them say is a 300 feet falling up people and almighty make it so only one person lose them three points people you know what i mean r.i.p to that person and them say the person will lose him three points are the dancehall artist when he am top man i'm father drop out you know what i mean you have people who are badly injured you know students me should say because a be a school as did in the bus you know what i mean i have others where get shaken up but them good and for the bus fall so far you know people you want to see the bus it mash right up you see me me just glad say me not really glad still but me, me kind of happy say the damage minimal and i just one person lose them three points instead of multiple persons because we could have here say the entire bus load of picnic lose them three points you understand what i mean so again r.i.p to top man father and condolences to the family and a speedy recovery to those children so I'm going to put up that man for that picture right now for you to see. I'm going to try to find the picture of the bus and see if I can put it up too. 
So I bust that my people. You saw him mash up? John you know. So them pick me the better sleep on the same side where them sleep on the night before. So we are gonna move on, my people. Man can up and drop out by police in St. Catherine Indicom launches probe. The Independent Commissioner of Investigations is probing the FATAL conning of a man by the police during an alleged confrontation in Grateful Hill, Glengarth, St. Catherine. The deceased has been identified as Courtney Thompson of Spanish Town Road in Kingston and a Grateful Hill address. The police report that about 7.50 Thursday morning, a team on an operation in Grateful Hill entered a yard where two men were observed. The men reportedly ran to the back of the premises and were pursued by the police. One eluded the police while the other reportedly brandished a GUN and pointed it at the cops. The police said the cops took evasive action and opened fire, hitting the man who was allegedly found clutching the weapon. They say a loaded Colt revolver was recovered. The injured man was taken to the Linstead Hospital where he was pronounced. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And we are going over to another car in Wagwan and Indicom investigate the car in there too. Indicom probes S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G-D-E-A-T-H of motorists allegedly by police. The Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, have launched an investigation into the fatal conning of a man allegedly by the police during a traffic stop along Old Arbor Road in St. Catherine. It is reported that about 8 p.m. on Thursday, police personnel were on traffic management duties along Old Arbor Road when they signaled the deceased to stop his vehicle. The driver, 39-year-old Ingus Amon, complied and stopped. He was asked to exit the vehicle and as he disembarked his under a card, he allegedly grabbed one of the policemen and a tussle ensued. It is further alleged that Amon brandished his license machine and started F-I-R-I-N-G at the police. The police returned fire during which Amon was S-H-O-T. He was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced. So people, would I want some more clarity upon this? Because the article say the police them stop him, him come out of him vehicle, him just grab on pan one of the police them so, and a tussle ensued. Then him draft his machine and start calling after them. Someone know what happened in the space when him a come out of the vehicle, why a tussle ensue with him and the police officer? What the police officer do for provoke him? That more I know. Some of them money with license machine, them I am mighty still in a people. You know what I mean? But sometimes them police yeah, them provoke the people them. Some more I know what transpired right yeah, so. In the come investigate still. So me just hope say, them give some update once them 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 done them investigation. You see me? Come with a love for know what really go on. What caused the man to start calling off of the police them? More I know if he's a madman or what. So me just see a thing a while ago, my people. J Ray and him nephew distance themselves from the crab circle. Because if you look up there, you know, a big Jerry and nephew print up all over the stall, them, you know, and up at the top, you see the big Jerry and nephew crab circle. You know. So don't be surprised if you see the wall of that paint out by tomorrow. Remember, me tell you, yo, corporate Jamaican are easy, you know. Them with you, you know, once you're popping, you know. Them with you, once you're good and clean, them with you. But once something go wrong, remember me tell you, say them attack with themselves. Them no want none of your negativity around them. Remember that. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. So, people, this is a sad one. 
GC Foster College Vice Principal Gibbs Williams, G U N down in Portmore. So I picture this, my people. Vice Principal at GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sports in St. Catherine, Gibbs Williams, was G U N down this afternoon while at the compound of a medical facility in Portmore. Head of the St. Catherine South Division Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips says Williams, who was a national cricket manager, was attacked at the Portmore Hospital Complex. It is reported that Williams was called outside of the medical facility after which three explosions were heard. He reportedly ran back inside covered in BLOOD. Williams was then rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced. This is sad. RIP and condolences to the family. So people not be vigilant out there. That's all my officer. Just be vigilant. You know what I mean? Cause it look like say somebody where this man know because them call him out of the medical facility and call him up. You see me? So I must somebody where him know. So if there is any update, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notified when there is anything new. You get notification right away. See? And give me a thumbs up on this video. So people, the JCF released some things about the four person, the three per remember them did say a three person them all on pan. No a four person for the Philip Paulwell baby mother and daughter kidnapping. Seen? And people, you see the woman that I'm baby mother, we live in America. We are serving her, I think, the army. Them all on pan she to people. Yeah, man. So, I go read some of the comments them. With them comment in at the comment section. Because general people, I never know say somebody could have wicked. So, one person say, what a heartless wicked B-I-T-C-H. Kiss my teeth. Over one man to PC. Like, say, C-O-C-K-Y. Short pan earth. So, this person has said, she really got dash with the woman and her picnic over one man. And the man, no really, the man up in her age then. Seeing an next person say, as a mother, how can you do such a thing over this wrinkle body, long time big man? One next person say, from I read that paragraph she posted on her Facebook page, I had a very strong feeling something dangerous went down. You saw me, I say because remember she did write one post on her Facebook, I said, boy, she never really in no contact with the female. The only um, contact was she contact her, I tell her, I said, boy, she and the youth are going all right, and she are going to do everything what she can for help out the youth. And that she said, she tell the woman, you know, you see me, and them never meet up yet. So it look like she's she friend her up on Facebook and gain her trust and just go pick her up and go do away with she and the picnic. Yo, boy, may I tell you people, them say man jealous. You see when woman go for jealous, may I tell you no say I know no normal thing. So may I go put the clip right just so with the police, them I reveal everything. You know what I mean? And as soon as there's an update, people, may I go share it with you guys. So make sure so you subscribe to the channel and you click the top bell icon. And here we are, give this a thumbs up, please and thanks. If you can't find the option for give it a thumbs up, just click on the X with the on your right hand side and give it a thumbs up. Bless up. In light of the misinformation swirling in the public domain regarding the disappearance of Miss Sashina Patterson and her 10 month old child, I deem it necessary to provide to the public the official brief at this time. On Saturday, September 9, 2023, a missing person report was made to the police at the St. Andrew Central Division regarding the disappearance of Miss Sashina Patterson and her 10 month old child, Sahara Paulwell, from their home at 3 Galmore Drive, Kingston 20. Since then, this investigation has morphed into a very complex case of kidnapping and conspiracy. 
the quality and potency of the evidence amassed thus far has led us to take into custody four persons in relation to this investigation. One of those persons is Ms. Lehoda Bradshaw, a 34-year-old petty officer in the U.S. Navy. The investigation is still ongoing. However, it is at an advanced stage. We continue to appeal to anyone with information to make contact with us. We also continue to engage our stakeholders. The persons in custody will go through a series of administrative procedures before formal charges are considered. At that time, an update will be provided to the nation through the press. As I indicated, there's a lot of misinformation that is swirling in the public. And we think, in particular with Ms. Bradshaw, we have evidence that could, we could advance a case at this time. But we want to ensure that we cross every T and dot every I. And so there are a number of things that are ongoing. And so we want to ensure that those have come to a conclusion before we uh, proceed with the formal charging of her. Well, we are looking at a case of kidnapping. Uh, we are looking at a case of conspiracy to murder and other charges that will flow from that. I am convinced when I look at the material that the evidence that we have garnered so far is very strong and very, very can stand up to any scrutiny in any court of law. And I must seize the opportunity to commend the people, the officers who are actually conducting this investigation. A lot of effort, a lot of, it shows commitment, it shows uh, tenacity. Um, I mean, they, it, it shows that they really have um, the the interests of this nation and the interests of justice at heart. And just as how the family members have a desire to see a closure to this matter, I think the officers are committed to ensure that the family members, they get closure to what I consider to be an unf an, 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 a very unfortunate um, situation. One that really forces any individual with a conscience to cringe.